y'all and welcome back to our channel Casvengers. <laughs> Today we are here in Barcelona and we are going to be telling you the tourist traps to avoid when visiting Barcelona. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, um as when visiting any major city, there are things that you have to look out for. You have to take the good, which here, really, really, really good, with the bad. Um, unfortunately, there are gonna be people who try to scam you no matter where you go. So we're gonna help you enjoy your vacation by making sure you are aware of the different scams that may occur when visiting here. First scam that you need to avoid and be aware of is pickpocketers. Oh! I've actually been pickpocketed twice. One in Barcelona and one in Prague. So it does happen, yeah. And the first time that I actually ever came to Barcelona with my college dance team, one of my friends was pickpocketed on the metro. But luckily there was an undercover cop who got it back for her. So guys, we're telling you this not to scare you, but to make you aware because it is a thing. If you're walking around, don't walk down Las Ramblas with your phone in your back pocket. Don't walk around with your backpack on your back in sketchy areas, yeah? Walk around with the backpack in the front. Areas where there's big crowds, or you're more likely to get pickpocketed. So you just have to watch out. It's easy to get caught up in looking at the different tourist sites and uh, seeing all of the attractions and forgetting to keep a close look on your belongings. And that's when they get you. The biggest advice that we can give you on this whole video is be aware of your surroundings. If somebody bumps into you, Check your pocket after, because they probably just stole your phone. Another tourist trap for you to avoid is somebody handing out little trinkets. Okay, so what I mean is like, um, we actually did a whole uh, video on that of a scammer in Madrid. Um, so if you want a good laugh, watch that because... He's crazy. No, he's crazy. So, watch out for people with little trinkets. What they'll do is they'll give you something like in that video, it was like a little wooden elephant, or they'll give, they'll put a bracelet around your wrist, or rosemary, we've seen that a lot. And they give it to you, and you just out of instinct sometimes, you just like grab it because, you know, somebody's giving you something and you just awkwardly do it. And as soon as you do that, it's give me money, give me money. You took something from me, you took a product, now you need to pay me, and they do not leave you alone. So you need to be on the lookout. If somebody walks up to you and tries to put something in your hand, now that you've seen this video, be aware, put your hands behind your back. I always put my hands behind my back because I'm like super cautious, or I'm like, I'll be like, I oh, no. <laughs> so um, make sure that you're doing the same thing. You don't have to be as dramatic as me, but keep your hands near you. Don't reach out for it. It's like, it's total instinct. One time in Paris, um, and it's the same thing all around here in Europe. But one time in Paris, me and V were walking by and this guy literally came and grabbed my wrist and put a bracelet on and started tying it. I was just walking. So they know he looked and grabbed it. I didn't hand it out. I didn't reach for anything. So again, when you start seeing people like that, keep your hands close by. Drugs. Don't do them. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's crazy, like everywhere in Barcelona, especially around Gothic Quarter and Ramblas, there's people offering you drugs. What they do is, you're walking by and they look at you and they're like, Marijuana cocaine? Marijuana cocaine? Smoke pot all day, every day? Yeah, this one guy was saying smoke, smoke pot all day, every day. Obviously, we don't do drugs. Uh, if they uh, if they come up to you and ask you if you want to smoke or if you want cocaine, just ignore them, tell them no. Um, don't don't say yes because you don't know who these people are, where they're getting their products, or how they got their products. You just don't know anything about it. Be aware of that in Las Ramblas and in Got the Quarter. Say no to drugs. All right, the gamblers. Um, when you're walking around Barcelona, sometimes you'll see these gamblers where they'll they'll go down and then they'll start playing this game where they have three cups and you try and guess where the ball is on the cup and they'll move it around for you. And usually what happens is there's other people around that are accomplices and they'll actually bet money and they'll win and they'll give them money. And you're watching them and you're thinking, oh, he's this is so easy. Um, I, all I have to do is guess where the ball is and they make it easy for you. They make it seem like, like they're very slow. Uh, and then you, you see people betting money and then they're winning money. Oh wow, they're winning. So you're inclined to bet money yourself, and when you do, you lose the money. 
So don't fall for that trick. Also with that, like he said, with their accomplices, sometimes they'll have people going around and while you're zoned into the game or maybe like a street performance, there's people walking around and pickpocketing you. So that kind of goes with the pickpocketer one as well. Yeah. So don't let your guard down. All right, another tourist trap that you need to avoid is the official Barcelona stores. Now, there's actually official stores around Barcelona and the way to identify them, they have a security inside, a security guard inside, and the personnel is in uniform. Then there's other stores that are official, but you can tell it's like a souvenir store. Now they try and make it official. They have Barcelona products and they actually charge you official Barcelona prices. It's easy to identify once you've seen the official stores. Okay, the difference between the actual official stores and the official stores. So be on the lookout for those. Okay, next on our tourist traps to avoid in Barcelona are those currency exchange places. Y'all, those are such a scam, as we realized. Um, yesterday, we actually went to one and we were going to exchange our currency. And whenever we did, there was like cops outside and we're like, what's going on? And there was these people arguing and they were telling us, like, don't do it. They took a hundred dollars from us. And we were like, okay, what the heck? So we were, we wanted to investigate for you. So we went up and asked. Um, they were doing a 19% charge. No, that's insane. So we decided to leave um, and we went to an ATM. It cost me 185 US dollars in total. So it was 150 euros plus, you know, the currency exchange ratio, which it equaled out with only a 3% charge, a 3% fee. Sorry, that sounds like a lot of like mathematic stuff. Uh, <laughs> but, don't do it. Do not go to those places, y'all. Don't let convenience lose you money or get you caught up in a tourist trap. Ask before you go into exchange what the percentage is or what their fee is before you do it. If it's something ridiculous like 19%, then don't. But if they tell you, oh, it's... 5% or less, honestly. Don't do anything over that. That's a tourist trap. Okay, guys. So up next, I'm talking about toys again. So there's this scam, um, this tourist trap that they have, and I seen it in front of Sagrada Familia and near Park Well. Um, there's this little toy that you can buy, and it looks like it just dances automatically to music. It's just like jamming. They have like Looney Tunes, or The Simpsons, or Minnie Mouse, or Mickey Mouse. Oh, it daps. <laughs> no, it doesn't. But it's dancing, and so you think, Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. I would need to buy one of those. That's a great souvenir for kids. It's a scam. It doesn't work. He got caught up. He bought some. Okay, so what they do is they actually have a clear string, so you really cannot see it at all. And so they hang it from the stereo and then somewhere else. And then so when you notice, they go up and they go and hold it up to the stereo, acting like it needs that, like, oh, to get it started. And they show you, look, it's not hooked up to anything. And then they just put it in front of the stereo. And then all of a sudden, it goes down the line and they just drop it. And the thing starts dancing. It's being held up by string. But do not be fooled. Those things do not work. They do not dance. Okay, this next tourist trap I feel a little guilty saying. But watch out for the beggars, okay? There are beggars everywhere. I stole my beggar, okay? I just pickpocketed your coffee, hey! So disrespectful. Okay, so. <laughs> I almost finished all my coffee. So anyways, um, the beggars. So again, I do feel a little guilty saying this because I don't know where people are in their lives and I don't say want to say don't help people in need but it is a bit of a tourist trap and y'all these people do not let it go easily so be be prepared that down the streets in barcelona there are going to be a lot of homeless people try to avoid eye contact just because of the aggressiveness of a lot of them um, it's not like back home yeah they're really aggressive here so be aware be prepared um just turn sort of walk away and guide your path if you want to give them money do so out of the kindness of your heart but i just don't like that they you you're feel forced to you will notice a lot of people will have dogs and stuff too or little children out there with them um in order to kind of pull on your heartstrings a little bit more this is just a bit 
a sort of a tourist trap that we wanted you to be aware of before you come to Barcelona because you are going to see that a lot, especially up and down the streets of Las Ramblas and in Pastege de Gracia. Uh, what I've seen in the news or in articles is that these people will drug their children or will, they're not even their children and they'll drug the dog or the children so that they would be, so that they're asleep while they're begging for money. And you feel bad because you see them with little kids in their arms and they're like asleep or whatever. But no, they're, I mean, what I've read is that they're drugged. That's just sad. That's very sad. Hola. Oh! <laughs> Dos? Tres, cuatro, cuatro, Saluda la cámara. <laughs> oh, speaking of tourist traps. I'm gonna give you one. You deserve it. True. So, Sí. Uh, that one, we, he provided goods for us. He provided goods for good. us. He was friendly. And he did help us out with another tourist trap. Do not leave your belongings out anywhere. Do not just set your purse down like I just did. Even though it was right here, right in front of V, we're near the door. So that was kind of a, that was very kind of him to, to remind us, what are you doing? Um, but somebody easily could have ran in, grabbed my bag and ran off and I'd never see it again. And that's one example of one of the tourist traps that, do, that they do here in Barcelona. Now again, he gave us a rose and two euros, I guess. Yeah, I'll pay. <laughs> I pay two euros for a rose. But uh, what other people do is they'll give you a leaf. They'll give you uh, something that's that's worth like a penny, and they'll ask you for a euro or two for it. Yeah. Um, those are the tourist traps that we uh, we want you to avoid. This one was okay, I guess. They, they do this in the states too. Oh, I got a rose. <laughs> okay, guys, we are down to our last tourist trap for you. <laughs> the last scam or tourist trap here in Barcelona that we want you to avoid is the metro guy. It's crazy. There's this guy at the metro station at the. I always see him at the Paseo de Gracia metro station. And what happens is when you're buying your ticket, he will go up to you and he'll start uh, pressing the buttons for you, trying to help you out. But in reality, he charges you once you get your ticket. So it's a tourist trap. He's, uh, he's very good at it. I've seen him every time I come to Barcelona. If you want to help him out, help him out. But it's something so easy, so simple that you can do it yourself. You can figure it out yourself. Okay, y'all, so that is all for our tourist traps in Barcelona. Like we said, just be aware of your surroundings. That is key. Um, I know you're here to have fun, but you cannot just be in vacay mode. You have to, have to, have to, you know, have a clear and sound mind. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to like it below. And of course, subscribe to our channel. And then follow us on Instagram and Pinterest at Cast Ventures and our blog, castventures.org. All right, thank you. And stay safe out there, y'all. Until next time. Cast Ventures. I'm <laughs> <laughs>